News now, he was cleared of any wrongdoing months after he shot and killed a Capitol rioter who was caught on camera trying to get into a part of the building during the January 6th riot. But tonight, there are new questions about the actions of that Capitol Police Lieutenant. His name is Michael Byrd, specifically what he said during an exclusive interview with NBC News last week. Congressman Troy Nels was also on the front lines defending the Capitol that day, and he claims that the decision the lieutenant made was wrong. And tonight he's explaining his reasoning only to KPRC 2's Michael Laparty. So Michael, what's the congressman saying tonight? Chris Dominique, the congressman takes issue with some of the officers' comments in that interview and thinks the case should go to a federal grand jury. Nearly eight months after protesters stormed the U.S. Capitol, Representative Troy Nell says he has serious questions about the actions of a Capitol police officer who used deadly force on January 6th. He shot and killed an unarmed person, Ashley Babbitt. The comments come after Lieutenant Michael Byrd defended himself in an interview with NBC News last week. Does it matter that the person was armed or not? According to law, it does not. I know based on my training and my policy, uh, what I did was appropriate. The Republican congressman is the former sheriff of Fort Bend County. The shooting needs to be investigated and it needs to be brought to some uh, to a grand jury. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington says Ashley Babbitt was among a mob of people that entered the Capitol and she tried to climb through broken glass in a door near the House chamber. The officer fired one round, which hit Babbitt. She later died. I don't condone her behavior. I don't condone her behavior, but she should have never been shot and killed in the Capitol that day. The officer was cleared by an internal investigation. Capitol Police said his actions potentially saved members and staff from getting hurt or killed by a crowd of rioters. But now sees things differently and believes the officer didn't have to shoot. I don't find too many law enforcement officers that I've talked to, and I've been doing this for 30 years. Too many law enforcement officers or others have felt that that was a justifiable shooting. Back in April, the U.S. Attorney's Office said it would not pursue criminal charges against the officer and the investigation was closed. The congressman tells us he's still reviewing information and taking a deep dive into the events on January 6th. Live in the newsroom, Michael Loparty, KPRC 2 News.